I never know how to start videos, how to introduce something. And I always end up singing something or saying hello, but I always avoid saying hello because it's so mainstream. <laughs> but then I, I feel guilty because I didn't say hello to you. And sometimes you comment, Lily, you didn't say hello. No, I, I have never received comments like those. So yes, I am here trying to look very comfortable, very, very welcoming to you guys because did I move this? No, uh, I'm, I'm nervous and I'm avoiding reality by focusing on other details. So yeah, I'm, I'm wearing this fluffy thing, even though it's like 73 degrees, it's not really that it's cold. I just want to have some kind of comfort item so I can rely on that while I'm having this anxiety crisis in front of the, of the camera. I need more fluffy things. An octopus. Now I can introduce this video in a proper way, not the awkward thing I just did. Hello, welcome to another video in my channel. This is not a random one. This is my 10,000 plus subscribers special. And I'm gonna make a Q&A video. Yeah, I know. I promised a Q&A video probably six months ago. <laughs> okay, five months ago. Could you ask me some questions to make a Q&A video? Anything works. Thank you. Have a good day. And I never did the Q&A until now. Alejandro Luque Rodriguez asks, what do you do for a living? Let me put this mic, mic a bit closer to me. I'm sorry, Mr. Octopus. What I do for a living is YouTube. I could be working on something else, but honestly, I really like investing all of my time on YouTube. It is my hobby. I am pursuing this YouTube career. So that is precisely what I do for a living. And I'm very happy about it. But of course, I don't know what happens in the, in the future. Extroverted intuition here doesn't know what happens in the future. There are so many possibilities. What have you studied? Have you studied? I studied, studied <laughs> an environment, environmental engineering in a, in a university called Usach. Okay, look, I just answered one question and I'm kind of overwhelmed. I, I need a break. Like I already opened up too much. <laughs> what does MBTI means for you? To me, it means mini boats travel impatiently. Because as the sentence says, we humans, MBTI enthusiasts are mini boats in this, let's say ocean. Okay, ocean is life. We are mini boats which means that we are at risk all the time. You know, big boats, normal boats <laughs> are just moving around, whatever. But we're mini boats and mini boats are very light. So any wind, any strong or not even strong wave can uh, make us sink. So why are we traveling impatiently? Because we are weak, we are light, we are at risk all the time. And we're impatiently looking for an island. We're looking for land to find people we can actually connect with. Serious Mike, close to me. And when we want to find people who connect with us, what are we looking for? Are we looking for people who understands us or are we looking for people who can make us improve those, part of our, those parts of ourselves that are not developed enough? So I think it is very hard to find people we connect with. Very hard. And so when you get to that island, that island, you will probably see natives living in that island. And you're gonna be like, wait, am I supposed to be safe here? I was looking for land because I can't be in the uncertainty of the ocean when the wind can make me sink. Not the wind, the water, but you know what I mean. Why are we seeing that these people that are so different to us, these natives that already have a code, already have a language, already have traditions and a culture, and we are suddenly realizing that we somehow ended up in the same islands. Why? Because of the cognitive functions. 
Okay, no, not serious, Mike. I'm aware of the fact that many people have different opinions about MBTI. Pseudoscience. 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 About how it's a pseudoscience. Pseudoscience, yeah. Some other people say it's kind of okay or legit. And even though I would never dare to use it as a professional mechanism no not never you know i mean for now we cannot rely on a system on one particular system to diagnose people and say oh you are this and that's why you're like this and that what happened that's what happened to you when you were a kid and now you do this because you're like this and because you have this function as dominant yes thank you very much let's meet in the next session i think MBTI is a very personal tool. It could work as much as... I'm trying to think of a system that we use that is legit, but we use personally. You know when we read Tarot, Terra, we see the cards and, and we are reflecting ourselves in what we see because there are certain symbols that trigger ideas that are not in our consciousness because they're not present 24-7, but they are in the back of our head. And that is precisely what I think of MBTI sometimes. But I also think it is a very good tool to organize. And I, me particular, particularly... I have a lot of fun doing that. And whether it's real or not real, wh whether it's a science or not a science, I think for all of us who are interested in, in, in the personality typing, we have learned a lot about, our, about ourselves. We have learned a lot about other people. I feel like I respect even more now that I understand others better, that I know sometimes why certain people have certain preferences and i also learned how to accept myself with this i learned how to say you know what this is me and i'm not supposed to be an fe dominant <laughs> all the time because before mbti i was trying to fit in a lot no not trying to fit in I, I never i never tried hard always feeling that there was something wrong that i was reacting in a, in a way that i shouldn't react that i was maybe too selfish that i was mirroring others too much that i was not confident of my own social traits so i think for us intps specifically and other introvert intuitives and everyone really it is a very good tool science-based or not, to develop all those things that we lack. That's what MBTI means for me. Mini boats travel impatiently. That was a long-ass answer. I'm sorry. Favorite food? Porotos con mazamorra. Yeah, I'm gonna put a PNG picture over here. I love porotos con mazamorra. They're beans with corn. And sometimes it can be spicy because we use ají color. Oh, okay, don't make me hungry with your questions. Viralium. How much are you into music? Have you ever created any original songs? When can we expect that album to drop? I am very into music. Music in my life is like... Well, I really like dancing and singing. I guess I, I learned a lot of things with music. I learned how to interact with people and with my... I, I learned it as a language. Because if I sing, I feel more honest. I feel I can actually open up because it puts me in this emotional mood, you know, in, in general, I, I struggle with having strong emotions. I struggle with living the emotion. If I don't live it, it's very foggy, everything is very foggy in my mind. And music helps me to open up certain things that I'm kind of ignoring or re rejecting because usually when... I don't know why I'm speaking about emotions, you ask me about music. Music helps me as a language. Yes, I actually have created any original songs. It's on Spotify. My first song is Whimsical and you can expect the album to drop. When do you, when are albums dropped? When the, all the songs are like 
released or when the first song of the album is released. I don't know how to answer that. Anna England asks, what are some stereotypes that female INTPs are labeled with that you're, you yourself don't fit? Let me do a quick research to see what are the labels because I don't know what are the labels. Out of all the introverts, INTPs are the most likely to get married? Okay, one of the labels is like, we don't care about hair, makeup, and looks. Like, like we, we look very messy, that we, we don't put special care on those things, right? I don't fit in, but I do at the same time, because I don't care at all. It's clearly not a priority. It's clearly not something I I would die for. <laughs> I have a lot of things before that. I Sometimes I get so focused on what I'm doing. Sometimes I get so invested in something that I completely forget everything. But it's not just that I forget about makeup and hair. I forget about sleeping, about eating. So all those things that are so connected with reality are just abandoned, which is a terrible thing to do, by the way. Sometimes I really like wearing makeup. I really do. Even though it's the label that we have. Sometimes I really like to play with colors and shapes and to look like certain characters. More than just improving the way I look, what I like to do is looking in a specific way. Just like a character of a movie I just watched or something like that. I really like doing those things. Am I speaking in a very weird way? I feel like I'm talking like this. Manuel, how much time do you need for a one video? I need two days for a scripting, two days for a recording, one day for INTP and the other day for the rest of characters. And also, the days are not very long yet because it's still spring. I really like using daylight, so I just have a, a gap where I can record between lunchtime and 5 or 6 p.m. So yeah, I need to split recording into two days and the other two days are for editing and the last day I upload. So I need a week. Oh, and then the next day I need to make subtitles. I make subtitles in English and in Spanish. And I upload things on Instagram and Facebook to promote the video. Now that I think about it, it's more than a week for one video. How does your family feel about your YouTube? Oh, they are very supportive. They are very happy and very proud. My mom supports me a lot. My sister supports me a lot too. My grandparents are always asking me to watch my videos. Okay, Amina. Do you have a curious love for a specific food combination that most people don't understand about? No, I don't. I like rice and lemon, but people understand that. It's very understandable. I like chili things, though. Like, very spicy. When did you realize you were different? And how has that been affecting your behavior or self-esteem throughout the various stages of your life? Wow. You know, I have trouble talking about myself as different. I don't feel very comfortable saying, oh yes, look at me, I'm different. Because I, I think I have met enough people in my life to say that they were all different from each other. So I don't know how to how to start this answer. But definitely the fact that I, I was just not moving at the same speed. I was not in the same wavelength than other people around me. Made me feel very slow. Not smart enough. Because I was not capable of understanding this emotional intelligence that is required to do certain things. To interact with friends, to interact with the strangers. I was just, why am I so against doing those things? I just didn't feel like having fun the way other people was were, were having fun. But I think we all struggle with different uh, preferences. I, I think a bigger universe of subjects to make a conclusion a better conclusion about being different. Gabrielle asks, are you a psychologist? If not, would you like to become one? I actually consider being a psychologist after I graduated from high school. <laughs> a lot of career paths. I actually started with architecture. I was going to be an architect <laughs> and I gave up. 
after one month and a half. I didn't like it. I wanted to be an astronomer. That was like my dream career. Is Patricia single? Patricia is always single. She is a single queen. Isgarn asks, if you could be any other type, which one would it be? Oh my god. You know, the last weeks or even months, I have wanted to be an ENTJ. <laughs> yes, that's the other type I would be. I think it's part of being my my shadow functions. I think I want to be the opposite. And I try to trigger sometimes uh, those functions to when it comes to, to working and to making decisions. I try to summon those functions to see how, how I can play with functions. You know, I think we part of understanding cognitive functions, I think, is that it gives us the possibility of understanding those functions so well that we can play with them, you know, and be aware of them, of every one of them. Be aware of when it triggers, like, for example, in, in INTP, F, FE, when it's triggered the most and how it is so hard for us to use FI. Pepe Nillo asks, are you planning on becoming a cyborg? Of course I am planning on becoming a cyborg. Yes, I think the human form has a lot of limits and we are framed in this mortal body. Yes, I'm planning on becoming a cyborg, but first there are a lot of things I need to do. But yes, you're correct with your assumption. Alex Mo asks, do you think the INTPs would dominate the world if they wanted? Absolutely, especially together. Do you often try to figure out the type of the people you know? <laughs> yes. Maybe a little bit too much. When is your birthday? What is your Howard's house and your top five favorite books? Can it be like top three? Because I already have this three books in front of me that I brought for this because I thought they were three and not five. When is my birthday? May 19th. What is your Howard's house? I would say Ravenclaw, but I really like Slytherin. And my top five favorite books. Okay, let's say three. First one by Isabel Allende. It's called El Cuaderno de Maya, Maya's Notebook. I read this many years ago when I started college. Yeah, and it had a huge impact because this girl, I would say she's probably an ISFP, if not an INTJ. I can't... I, this is the first time I'm, I'm, I'm actually typing this girl because I didn't know about MBTI back then when I read it. It was a gift and it really meant a lot because this girl likes being alone and she travels from the US to Chile to, a, to an island called Chiloé. And Chiloé is a beautiful, beautiful place in here. Very magical. It meant a lot. I related a lot to the, to the main character, Maya Vidal. She's 19 years old. Yeah, I really recommend it. Next one. El Psicoanalista, The Analyst by John Katzenbach. Or how I call him, John Kachimba. I actually read it twice because it has an amazing plot twist. It made, it gave me the idea of change. You know, change is a very powerful word for me. ENTPs maybe relate to this more, but change is a very... Why is there a mosquito? Change. <sighs> I don't want to spoil. The change that happens in this book is amazing. And I always admire changing. I always like it when characters and people change. And I like changing too. And I think we're constantly changing. It's part of us and part of our growth and journey to become someone else. Or to, to, be, to be better, to accept those in, inner changes that we suffer inevitably the analyst by john katzenbach and <laughs> el secuestro de la bibliotecaria way the librarian and the robbers yeah i read this this was probably the first book i read it's even painted there <gasps> i liked it so much and look at the picture it's a book for kids. But you know what? It's it's very interesting. It's really good. 
<laughs> Why? Do you want me to be deep with all my... It, this is actually very deep, okay? <laughs> Such a good book. Okay, Nina, you made a lot of questions. I'm not going to answer them all because I think I already answered some of them. Do you like spending time outside in nature? Yes, I do. But I haven't done it in a while because I like being in my room. And as I said in my last video, uh, I haven't done outdoors, uh, outdoorsy things in a while. Thank you for the word outdoorsy, Winnie. And talking about Winnie, oh my gosh. Okay, break. Very fun break. I just called my mom because she wants to see this too. But I have a surprise package. This was sent by my friend Winnie from Germany to celebrate the 10,000 subscribers. And I don't know what it is. Okay, I will open it. I like gifts. Unboxing time. <gasps> and it's purple. Mm -hmm. See? Si. Tiene la plaquita de YouTube. Okay, my mom was here, so I was acting weird. Um, this present was sent by Winnie, my friend. I'm gonna put his Instagram. So you check his work. He's a very talented person, in general talented. And this is the first, the first thing I receive as a recognition to the YouTube path, you know, I... And it's purple! And I like purple! Well, yeah, this is... I'm sorry, Octi. It has YouTube. You know, I was like, last year, I was... I was working out, <laughs> because I'm a very fit person. I was working out, I was running, and I was listening to music, and I was trying to run every day. Serious story. I was really trying. Now I'm not, by the way, but I was. And back then, I didn't have any channel, but I had the dream of having a channel. And I was like, could I do something on YouTube until I have a thousand subscribers? Could I have a thousand subscribers eventually? How, how difficult is that? You know, I never realized that I had 10,000 subscribers until now, until now that I see this. I'm, I'm not a person who is very aware of, of, the, of the present or of the past. I just see like I have to do more things for the future. So this really helps me like stop and look around like, whoa. And you see, I love this picture so much. I love this picture with my cat and the Akvex. These are uh, tentacles with eyes. I really like tentacles, by the way. And that is Anneli, <laughs> the puppet. <laughs> and I have French French fries because I like French fries. And that's the ENTP time traveling outfit and a stapler because that's my weapon. I don't know if I can answer more questions now. I will answer one more question. I will choose a random one, Nina. You're gonna be the one I will answer to, because Nina, I am your legal guardian on internet. <gasps> I know you're an army, right? If so, who's your bias? <laughs> I like J-Hope. He's my bias. <laughs> do you like zodiac astrology and what's your sign? I do like zodiac astrology and my sign is Taurus, but I'm a cusp because I am between Taurus and Gemini. I really like elements. That's why I like uh, Zodiac in the first place, you know, because I like elements and the balance of them. And I like Avatar. Okay, Amina Benzada asks, is it social anxiety or being an INTP that makes us socially awkward? You know what? I've never been diagnosed with social anxiety, but I think I do have social anxiety. It makes a lot of sense. 
maybe is an is not an advantage in this world but i think we still can manage to make the best out of our introverted thinking function uh i still think we can make the best out of our cognitive functions and even though social anxiety is not a good a positive thing to deal with maybe it gives us other things you know other talents other skills in my case well i don't leave my house much i don't go out as much as i would like to i don't have a i struggle with making plans with friends i struggle with leaving my house i struggle with taking the bus i struggle with the city with the mall with buying things with approaching people with approaching strangers asking for directions <laughs> i get lost i if i if i don't find a place i give up and i want to go home but i think that it gave me a different perspective it gave me the chance of thinking more of making and building a world that i could actually live in i have these dreams or of that's very science fiction dreams okay and i think infps do too we have inner worlds you know and that's the beauty of dealing with things as social anxiety and <laughs> being an intp always the chance of taking a risk and doing something with that inner world we have i became so emotional <laughs> okay i'm going to leave this q and a video here because it became a bit too intense for my preference thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for this it means so much to me it's going going to be in the background of my videos for a while <laughs> it's beautiful it's really beautiful and i'm not i'm not saying it because i am in the picture okay wait this sound this seems familiar i painted that congratulations for 10,000 subscribers my cat is fighting <laughs> okay guys i hope you had a good time if you have any more questions i will answer them in the future probably in six months <laughs> or plus have a good day and see you guys in, ne in the next video it's gonna be a 16 personality types kind of video and it's going to be my best creation so far okay i'm very excited i wasn't this excited until i saw this okay so ugh. leave me alone goodbye